Here we'll look at how cells control the amounts of protein they make by regulating events after transcription initiation. The first example we'll consider is that of small interfering or SI RNA. In some ways this is an unusual and exceptional example because it's part of a eukaryotic cell's defense mechanism against invasion by viruses and transposons or transposable elements. At some point these invaders produce double-stranded RNAs. Selective double-stranded RNA-specific ribonucleases can detect the double-stranded RNA and hydrolyze it down to smaller fragments. Some of the smaller foreign RNA fragments can hydrogen bond to complementary regions of the larger invasive RNAs and target them for degradation. So here are the specifics. Once made in the cell, the double-stranded RNAs recognize as foreign by a nuclease called dicer, the lavender colored objects here. The resulting fragments, somewhere between 20 and 25 nucleotide pairs long, are the SI RNAs. The SI RNAs become single stranded as they combine with RISC proteins that are normally made by the cell. This forms a RISC or RNA induced silencing complex. So RISC is a ribonucleoprotein complex, isn't it? Remember that ribosomes themselves are ribonucleoprotein complexes, so the combination of RNAs and proteins into a useful structure in the cell is hardly unknown. The single-stranded RNA in the RISC can H-bond to one strand of the foreign double-stranded RNA and catalyze its rapid hydrolysis. The hydrolytic activity is a property of one of the RISC proteins.